Hi, welcome to another Agile with Jira series video. In the second video about links, I will show you how implementing a simple set of concepts and rules when using links in Jira can unleash the full potential of the information you have available. And all of that with just a bunch of clicks. Now, before we continue, I strongly recommend that you watch the first video where I explain how links can be used and which ones I recommend configuring. This will help you understand the logic behind what I'm about to show you. So, if you're ready, let's get to work. This is a change request that has been approved. This means that some work was already done and generated relevant information. To learn more about the change request workflow, check out my video about workflows. This area here contains specific information that was obtained during the investigation period, like a description, who identified, decision, and other types of structured information. This area contains the most relevant information about the composition of the change request, and it's built to display the established links. As you can see, it does not use the structured Jira display, but rather a specific plugin, Issue Matrix. Although its use is not mandatory, I really like it because it allows you to organize the information in different sections, with specific fields, making it much easier to read. In this case, as I explained it in the first video, we can see two types of connection. Modifies means the change request will change this feature. This dimension is used to understand what will change. Is materialized by tells us in practice how the change request will be implemented. In this example, it will be through the two stories identified. Let's see what happens when I click this feature and access its contents. Here is the first panel, Requirements. You can see that this feature is composed of several stories and that it contributes to the satisfaction of a need, hence the satisfies. Below, the Change Requests panel, where you can see the information we saw earlier but from the feature's point of view. In this case, the feature is modified by a Change Request. Now let's check another example. This is a risk. Its status indicates that it's under investigation, and as such, there is already some information available, as you can see in this area. Now let's take a look at the practical impact of the risk. Here's the risk panel, automatically generated through the creation of these specific links. We can easily see that the risk impacts a certain feature. With the issue matrix plugin, I can see more specific information. As we saw in the previous example, if I click on this feature, I will get information about the links from that perspective. Once again, as you can see, using the Issue Matrix plugin allows us to have all this information pretty well structured in the specific panels. Now, the million euros question is, apart from these nice panels, how can I make use of this linked information? Let's take a look. In this report, produced with Pivot Reports plugin, we can see an example of how the use of links can give us really interesting information. In this case, we can see that the change requests have a total weight of 13 points, 8 for one and 5 for the other. We can also see that the total impact of change requests, 46% is for release 1.0 and 54% is for release 2.0. Of course, we can get a little more detail on how each item can contribute. In this page, we can see the impact that change requests have in both releases and in the corresponding features. Now let's see another example. In this case, what we are seeing is the impact the risk can have in the backlog in the context of the various releases. Apparently, there is no impact in release 1.0. Good news! By having access to the detailed information, we can see that some elements are not assigned to any release. Now suppose that after a more detailed analysis, it is confirmed that there is another feature impacted by this risk. How can we easily reflect that? It's actually quite simple. We access the risk in question. We select the option to add link. We choose the correct link. 
and the issue to link, and voila. The risk panel was immediately updated. Now let's see what happened in our risks report. The new feature that is impacted by the risk is now visible, as well as the fact that release 1.0 will also be impacted. Here, it's also visible how the impact of the risk also spread to release 1.0. And this is how you make proper use of the linking mechanism in JIRA.